uh, hands are tingling, my feet are tingling. I'm pretty sure I probably have cancer in my brain, right? She's like, what? <laughs> like my hands and feet are tingling. What else could that be? She's like, nothing. It could be nothing. It's a bunch of funny people, and we're all telling true stories. He's absolutely amazing every single time. You guys know him from WTF Podcast with Mark Marin. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mark Marin, everybody. Not too long ago, I woke up, and I was in my bed. I'm like, all right, well, you got nothing to do today. Why not just spend the day thinking you have cancer? <laughs> and I had symptoms of something. I, I had these tingling in my hands and my feet were tingling, so I'm like, I better Google this shit. And anytime you Google symptoms, know in your heart that all you're doing is looking to confirm that you're dying. That's all you're heading for. So I start Googling hands tingling, and I'm like, I got a brain tumor. So I call my doctor up, my regular doctor, and I'm like, I'm in trouble. Uh, hands are tingling, my feet are tingling. I'm pretty sure I probably have cancer in my brain, right? And she's like, what? Like, my hands and feet are tingling. What else could that be? She's like, nothing. It could be nothing. <laughs> and I'm like, I, but I want to see a neurologist because I think I, I'm pretty sure I have a brain tumor. I, I, I Googled it, and it seemed to add up. She's like, I'm not sending you a neurologist, all right? You come back in two weeks, and if this is still happening, I'll think about sending you to a neurologist. I'm thinking, like, oh, it's going to be happening in two weeks. <laughs> I'll make sure of that. So... I go back two weeks later and I go, it's, it's happening. We're on with the cancer. <laughs> and she's like, I don't think it's anything, but I'll send you to the neurologist. I'm like, thank you. So I make an appointment at the neurologist. This guy was, this was insane. So I walk in this neurologist, he's about, he's about 80. I'm not saying that's bad, I'm not an ageist, but he, he looked over it. <laughs> There's nothing worse than going to a doctor and they're like, ugh, what? <laughs> All right. The, so I walk into this guy and I say, you know, my hands are tingling and my feet are tingling. I think I'm, I'm in trouble. I swear to you, the guy grabs one of my hands and he presses his thumb into it. And he goes, that one's all right. <laughs> and then he like, he does the same thing the other one. He goes, those are fine. I'm like, are you even a real doctor? And I go, what about the feet? He goes, take your shoes and socks off. I take my shoes and socks off, takes a pencil and rubs the eraser end at the bottom of my foot and goes, that one's fine. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm like, what, 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 what kind of tests are these? I want to see a diploma. And then I go, what about my ear? My ear's clogging up. He goes, oh, we should probably get you an MRI. And I'm like, thank you. That's all I was looking for was the opportunity to have an MRI. So then I go to the MRI place. Have you had an MRI? The machine takes up the whole room. It's huge. Big arcing thing. Got a hole in the middle with a gurney. They, it's such a great machine, an amazing piece of technology, that the guy that operates it, he's got to sit in a booth, like, like away from it, and do the controls, like he's NASA, you know, for, for the MRI machine. So this amazing piece of technology, the guy comes out of his booth, he lays me out, he straps me down, or whatever, he lays me on the gurney, and he slides me in. He goes back to his booth, and within 10 seconds, it starts going, gang, 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 gang. And I'm like, what the hell is that? Does it need oil? What kind of machine makes that noise? Then it's like, ying, 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 ying. I'm like, what kind of bullshit machine is this? Is there a guy in there operating it? I literally, when I was in that machine, I had a fantasy. At the end of the day, a little person walked out. I'm like, that was a rough day. You know, like, he was in there doing something. So I don't know what the hell's going on with the machine. I could Google that instead of cancer, and I'd know what was going on in the machine. But I like the idea of a little man working in there, so I left it at that. So... So the guy, I'm in there 45 minutes, and the guy pulls me out of the machine. He goes, you did real good in there. I'm like, oh, there's a skill I didn't know I had. I, I can exist in a tube for up to an hour if I ever need that. So now I'm face to face with this dude, this technician, and I go, uh, so did you, see, uh, did you see the results? He goes, yeah, I'm the technician. I saw him. And I'm like, well, what's up? 
He's like, I, I'm not a doctor. I can't tell you that. And I'm like, I'm looking right in the eye. And I'm like, but you know. <laughs> You're looking me right in the eye. You know if I have a tumor in my brain. You know if I'm dying right now and you're not gonna fucking tell me? You're not gonna fucking tell me, but you know if I'm dying or not? But I didn't say that, I probably said, oh, okay. So, <laughs> so I swear this happened. I'm about to leave the MRI room and he goes, take care of yourself. <laughs> I don't know how he talks. All I heard was, good luck with the cancer. So now I'm, I'm freaking out. I need to know now whether or not I've got brain cancer because I plan to start drinking again. So, <laughs> so I wait there for a half hour and he gives me the results. I drive them to my doctor's office that afternoon. I'm like, hi, uh, can he look at these now? And she's like, he'll look at them between three and six. I'm like, what is he, the fucking cable guy? This guy can't, <laughs> you can't focus in on a time. Now I gotta wait till the end of the day. So then the guy calls me like at six o'clock. He's like, oh, Mark's Dr. Rosen. And, and I'm like, hi, what's up? He goes, well, I looked at your MRI results. And I'm like, uh-huh. And he goes, you have a normal brain for a man your age. So good news, but a little stick. You, you know what I mean? Like, you know, <laughs> no cancer, but I'm not gifted in any way. <laughs> but even after he told me all that stuff, like he wasn't clear enough with me because he's like, all right, so if you need uh, anything that I can help you with, please call me back. And I go, thank you very much. And I'm like, wait, no tumors, right? There were no tumors. As if he's going to go, oh, shit, I didn't mention that? Yeah, yeah your brain's full of tumors. Uh, good luck with that. Thank you. 